going, just taking the plunge into real estate, making. Hello everyone, I am Bob, and in this real estate video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to actually think about becoming a real estate agent. Yes, there are a lot of different ways to think about becoming a real estate agent, and a lot of people think about it more as like a glorified employee instead of what you really should be thinking you are, which is a small business owner. You're an entrepreneur. You're going out there to go and build your brand, which is you, and build your services, promote them, and then perform a superior service over the other people. And you will be paid for successfully doing all of those things. To me, that sounds like a business. That does not sound like an employee who kind of just gets paid the same amount, no matter how good or bad they do, unless they get fired or promoted. It's not the same. So a big thing is what successful agents do is they understand that really basic premise for starters. That is the way you need to go into this. And likewise, you need to start behaving in that way, not just thinking that way, but behaving and preparing in that way. Because here's the thing, you're going into something that is going to start off with no money, zero, zip. Your expenses are not going to go to zero. No matter how much you wanna decrease your expenses, you're still gonna to have to eat something and that roof over your head is probably not gonna be free, unless of course you're really looking into homeless shelters. Um, and I don't necessarily suggest that because their hours are not necessarily great and you have to usually go in at a certain hour, but you sometimes need to show properties at night. So let's go with this direction. Think like you're starting a small business. What do small businesses need? Well, first off, they need some kind of budget. So it would help to have some lump of money uh, ready to go for your marketing and also just for your other expenses. You're gonna have to save up. Um, I would suggest probably at least a year of your own expenses need to be ready to go because real estate, the whole get rich quick five seconds thing, great idea on TV. I'm totally for it if you make it, but statistically, you're probably not going to, even if you're amazing because it's a process. Real estate is not like the stock market. Millionaires are not made and destroyed on a day-to-day -day basis. It's extremely rare, it's a long haul. I mean, just getting a deal done when you're in escrow takes 90 days. That's not doing the marketing and everything else on the other ends. So you need to, you need to have your funds ready to go for at least a year. You need to have a budget for your marketing because your marketing isn't gonna be completely free. You're gonna need pamphlets, you're gonna need mailers, you're gonna need stamps, you're gonna need stuff online. Um, all this stuff is gonna add up. How much should that be? Maybe $500 a month? Something like that would be a good idea for at least starters. Um, another thing you really need to look into is it's not all you. It's true, you are with a brokerage. So you need to be very selective with which brokerage you need to be looking into. But what, what should you actually be looking for? A lot of people just look at the commission splits and they also look at the referrals. These are great things, but here's the other thing. You're the new guy, so you're not really gonna be getting as many referrals, and also the commission splits, don't completely lose your mind over 70%, 60%, 75%, because if you're getting 75%, 90% of nothing, it still comes out to nothing. So what you really need to actually be looking for is a brokerage that will train you. A brokerage that will actually teach you what the heck you're supposed to be doing and how to do it correctly. That is the most important thing in building a sustainable business. Actually knowing what you're doing and how to be better than the competition. It's, it's the basic business model of how America works. And so if you actually know what you're doing and the brokerage will help you do that, that should be your number one thing. So starting off at a company where you just hang your license, um, things like HomeSmart, uh, things of that nature, nothing wrong with the brokerage in and of itself, but if you're new, you need to get trained. So you need to find those brokerages. Um, quick things, so you need to go in, you're thinking about it, you need to be thinking about what, um, as this is a small business, one that you can grow. Um, hey, if you get big enough, you'll, you'll even get assistance and other agents working under you. That's what I do. Uh, another thing is, um, you need to have some money put aside. 
because you're not going to be making a million dollars your first month unless you're really lucky. And if so, let me know how you did that. And the third thing is good training from the brokerage you choose. You need to make sure they're actually going to take the time and care about you because if you're one of 500 agents they hired that month, there's a good chance you're not going to know what's going on. So basically, um, that's the whole video. If you liked it, I would really appreciate it if you liked it. If I omitted anything, if you want to know anything else, please leave it in the comments. I'm making these videos every week. So if you want a video made, I will make a video about it. All right, well thanks guys, bye.